What's up, guys? What's going on, Miami Muscle fans? It's Mojo Lua here. Um, just finished training my clients. Started at 6 a.m. this morning. Um, getting ready to go work out myself. I'm doing calves and hams today. So today I'm taking you with me. You guys always see me do videos and, and, and teach you guys how to do whatever you want to do with your workout and give you the technique and stuff. So today I'm taking you guys with me. I'm getting, getting ready to go across the, across the street right now um, into the gym to do my workout. So guys, come on with me. Let's go do this. All right. Getting ready to go get it done. We're right here in Burbank. Um, right here, Athletic, Burbank Athletic Club. I'm about to head on in right now. Go get this fun hams and calves workout done. Come on with me, fellas. It's gonna be a fun day. Here we go. Walking right in. Beautiful gym. So, man. Oh yeah. So I'm walking right in, getting ready. All right, fellas. I'm about to go change. What's going on, fellas? So I'm in here now, you guys can hear the sound. I'm in the trenches. It's about to go down. We turn the camera around so you guys can see what's going on. Here we go. We are in the trenches right now. So right now I'm getting ready to do my workout. Get the hamstrings and the calves going. So just give you what the gym looks like. This is, this is my playground right here. This is where I make it happen for me. All right, I'm about to do my hamstrings and calves, so right now I'm about to stretch. Now the stretching is over. That's about to hit. The first exercise I'm doing today for my hamstrings is dumbbell decline hamstring curls. So I usually work out by myself, I don't have a training partner. I've actually um, perfected a form and a technique to pick up the dumbbell with my feet while I'm doing this exercise. Here we go. First workout, first exercise. Let's do it. You guys see the set that I just did right now. So it's all about control. You want to control the weight on your way down, and when you get to the top, you want to squeeze your hamstrings at the top. I love this exercise because you're going to use your hamstrings a lot more because you have to control the dumbbell first, and then once you control and stabilize the dumbbell, then you have to be able to use your hamstrings a lot more, moving the dumbbell from the bottom to the top. So I just did a warm up. I'm going to do. A some more warm ups and then I'll go up on the high. So, right now I'm resting between sets. So, people always ask me how long do I rest between Sets. You don't rest long enough, your heart rate is still high, um, your muscles are still trying to recover from the previous set, so you're not going to be able to maximize that. So for me, I rest, like I said, between two minutes in between. When I used to strength train, we actually used to rest um, close to almost five minutes between sets. For bodybuilding, for me, I feel like everyone is different. Everybody's different, so um, some people rest a little bit longer, but for me, uh, where I get my maximum effort between sets is two minute rest. So I set my timer. Once my timer goes off, two minutes, I hit the next set. Okay, now I'm doing stiff legged hamstring. Um, it's called a stiff legged deadlift for hamstrings and glutes. Um, this exercise is really good for hamstring stretch. 
hamstring splint and also to help you activate your glutes, which is your glutes connecting to your hamstring from the top. So um, here we go. So there you have it guys, that's my stiff-legged deadlift for hamstrings, even though it's called stiff-legged hamstring, um, deadlift for hamstrings, you guys shouldn't lock your knees, you gotta make sure you keep your knees slightly bent, so that, that way you don't put too much stress in the back of your knee, which can lead to injury. So make sure you keep it a little bit more slower going down, push your glutes and hamstrings to the opposite direction, don't lift your knee up, like I said in my previous videos and stick like that, then. So keep your knees slightly flexed, push your heels down or way up. That's what's gonna bring you up a little bit more. So right now I'm gonna do, I'm doing calves, using the split machine. Um, I like doing this calf exercise because um, what I try to do is keep myself in a certain angle. You know, when you do your traditional calf, standing calf raises, you're straight up vertical. So when I use the split machine, as you guys can see later on in the video, I have a little tilt to my shoulder. So that little tilt lean forward actually already activated my calves because of this position. And I can push almost in the angle. So this angle, every time I do this exercise, it always gets my calves burning crazy. So you guys give it a try and you're not gonna regret it. 